welcome to Pipes to Backroom Whiskey. So we got my son Ian with us today and then our friend Ryan from down the road. He is here again with us. Thanks for coming, Ryan. Yeah, really thanks for having appreciate me. Appreciate it. Uh, couple, about a week ago, I had a buddy of mine, Warren Bile. You met Warren mm -hmm. at the Texas Pipe Show. Yeah, super the, uh, nice guy. In charge of uh, TurboTin.com. Mm -hmm. And he sent me a bag of a... Uh, Thanksgiving blend that he had purchased, and I hadn't, I'd never heard of it before. Uh, obvious, uh, obviously, it's a popular blend, um, but for some reason, I, it never came across my uh, my uh, radar. Yeah, it never yeah. came across my radar. So uh, we're going to do that today. And today, guys, we are doing Strauss Tobacconist Sleepy Hollow. And uh, Sleepy Hollow is intended to, it's a seasonal blend. It's intended to be... Uh, a late fall, early winter blend. Uh, usually comes out around Thanksgiving. Uh, it is an aromatic. It has black Cavendish, Burley Cavendish, and Virginia's in it. It's got uh, toppings are cinnamon and uh, pumpkin and spices and vanilla. Um, the strength on this is mild to moderate, I, I get, as, yeah. as far as we're smoking it. Um, the... Uh, it is a ribbon cut. It, it, it is a bulk. It comes in five ounce bags. And the funny thing about Strauss Tobacconist is they have two locations. One's in Cincinnati and the other is in Florence, Kentucky. Um, and they, ha they don't have a website. You've got to call them. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I like didn't know that. Very retro, you know, very 1980s. Yeah. You know? But uh, I called him today, and super nice lady answered the phone, sat there and chatted with me for a while. So um, anyway, that if you want to order it, I'll put the uh, phone number in the description so that you can uh, try it. They still have some in stock, although this does sell rather quickly. And right now they have a sale going on because of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever. Uh, like I said, the strength on this is mild to moderate. The flavoring on this is medium. The taste on this is medium. So let's go ahead and jump right in and let's give our thoughts about Sleepy Hollow. What do you guys get out of the tin? I, I wasn't getting much, honestly. It was more than anything. I, 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 I smelled a little bit of the like molasses, slight sweetness, but I wasn't getting much of anything on the tin note, honestly, compared to other aromatic type blends. Yeah, and it's you're not getting as much. You get more out of the bag. Try. Did you smell it out of the bag? Yeah. That's... Yeah, you'll get more out of the bag than you will out of the bowl. But um, yeah, it's it's really not a heavy topping at all. It's is just it? mild. No. It it just smells sweet. I don't know yeah. if you didn't tell me what flavor this was. I don't know if I could pick it out straight from just smelling the bag. There's no way. It's so light. Uh, I get a little bit of kind of a vanilla. Um, vanilla marshmallow thing going mm -hmm. on something yeah i'd say marshmallow fits pretty well yeah yeah and I'm barely getting any tobacco scent at mm -hmm. all like yeah. from the burleys not you know there's a maybe a slight nuttiness but i'm not getting any scent from the virginias you know the black cabin dish lends itself to have that vanilla -y kind of yeah. scent to it but man, it's really it's really mild, and for them to say that it's a it's got pumpkin in it, you know, a pumpkin uh, spice kind of, uh, you know, nutmeg, cinnamon, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not getting that a whole lot. Yeah, I, I would at least expect more of the cinnamon, at yeah, least, you would, but nothing. Depending on how much they use, yeah. yeah. But but it's a it's a pretty nice. I mean, it's very mellow and mm -hmm. it's very uh, appealing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, okay, let's let's go on to the taste. What are you guys are getting on the taste of this? Pretty similar, honestly. It's relatively mild. Not. It's not a. It's not goopy in any way, which is nice. It's not spicy, which sometimes with the cinnamon and all the yeah. the later like uh, fall time spices and everything. Yeah, like subtlest Christmas spice. Mm -hmm. You get a big bang of cinnamon on that one really? uh, especially yeah if you if you smoke it straight out of the out of the bag we've got some that's been sitting up there for almost what two and a half years now and that cinnamon tends to to subside but 
Uh, it, it's it's like a cinnamon bomb. This is nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. And and I've I've tried this. I would say pretty dry. Like, like I was describing to you, I tried smoking it the other day. Um, I got a charring light on this, and it just would not stay lit. Um, it was just too windy outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I set it down, and it's now Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, and I smoked it on the way over here, and it was wonderful. It held a light pretty well. Um, I, I wasn't getting bit. One bit, I could get a little more um, than just sweetness from it. Um, I was getting more marshmallowy. Um, every once in a while, pumpkin would kind of peek in and out. Um, Burleys. Um, but now, smoking it wet, I mean, how long did you guys let this dry? Maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And it was sitting in the sun, yeah, too, right? Yeah, I put it in the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and this is like, it's, it's bitier. It is, I guess, just because it's wetter. So yeah. it, it's biting me a lot more. I mean, I don't get a lot of the flavors that I was getting. I'm getting a little more cinnamon, maybe a little nutmeggy. Because it's it's spicy, just uh, not cinnamon. Yeah, I I, I agree with you. Uh, I've smoked this probably I've smoked maybe six bowls of this since I've got it, and I've done it several ways. Did it in a cob, did it in a in my aromatic briar, um, dried it out, smoked it wet several different ways. Um, I do like it better when it's drier. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if we're ever going to get it completely to that point where we really like our tobaccos. Yeah, you know, yeah, it would have to dryness. be. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to let it sit for, for days. For, uh, open like yeah. this, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do get smoking it fresh out of the bag like this. Mm-hmm. I do get more of a cinnamon nutmeg than anything else. I yeah. get the, the, the cinnamon to me is the strongest element in this. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. But the thing is, is that it's not overpowering cinnamon. Right. It's 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 pretty pretty mellow. Right. It's it, I, I like it. I, I do like it. It's a it's a good change of pace. I don't smoke aromatics that often. But uh, this one is this one's kind of uh, interesting. I'm I'm just searching like trying to find the pumpkin, really hard. Yeah. I just yeah. I'm not getting it, but. Like I said, I think it's a lot easier to find when it's dry. I mean, and this is drier than, than you got it. And it's just, it's it's hiding there behind the sweetness. I may have to leave it out on the counter overnight and then put it back in the bag. Yeah. That might that might do it. Mm-hmm. I'll try that. Well, um, the, the casings or the toppings in this don't really overpower you. I like that mm-hmm. in, in an aromatic. I don't like those aromatics where, first of all, your hands get sticky mm-hmm. when you're stuffing it in your pipe, and then secondly, when you light it, you feel like your mouth is on fire. This has no bite to it at all. Um, I did. I have noticed that when I smoke down, when I get it down at least about halfway or so, um, s- some of the other flavors tend to peek out through there. I get a little bit of that vanilla. I get a little bit uh, of that pumpkin that I'm looking for. I even get some breadiness, almost like a pumpkin loaf. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like, like a pumpkin loaf. Um, and the nuttiness from the burleys, I think, start to come through too. I don't necessarily taste any Virginia fla- uh, flavors in here. You know, that citrusy, grassy uh, sweetness from Virginia's, I, I don't get any of that. Do you mm-hmm. guys get any of that at all? No, and I wonder if that breadiness kind of comes from the Virginia's as well. Maybe. I mean, maybe that's what's lending a little bit of that breadiness, because I don't get that until, like you said, about halfway through the bowl. Yeah. And then they start kind of peeking out, and it's like, oh, hey, wow, there's other things in here other than burly and marshmallowy sweetness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost just like a sugar, brown sugary taste mm-hmm. is, is what you get on this mostly. Uh, it, it, it is I hate to use the word muddled mm-hmm. but it, it it is difficult to kind of select those flavors out of there other than just a, a comforting sweetness yeah. out of it and then a, a little bit of spice yeah I agree uh, alright well what do you guys well of course the brew note on this it's I mean, you could smoke this in the house, and and people yeah. would think you're burning a candle yeah. or something like that, you know. Yeah, it's it's sweet. Yeah, it's good. It, it's it's very pleasant. Mm-hmm. I I think people would like the, the room note on this. Moisture, moisture level. 
yeah, to me, this is this is moist, you know, which is how a <clears throat> lot of aromatics come. Okay. Not to the point where it's sticking to my fingers, but you can see where, yeah. you know, so, some of that kind of does stick to the fingers mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, so it does need dry time, in my opinion. Yeah. And I'm going to set it out tonight, overnight. I'm going to put it on a paper towel and just let it sit. And then tomorrow morning, bag it back up and see how that, how yeah. that changes I've, it. I've definitely seen worse, though, as far as the Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, yes. A, a popular <laughs> one from the Country Squire is Old Toby. Mm-hmm. And you, you cannot dry Old Toby enough. You just can't. Uh, I've, set, I've set it out for weeks and still old toby is really old. yes like set it out in the open in a bowl you left it open like the bag i, I, I gotta dry this out and leave the bag open like that for weeks <laughs> golly and and come back to it and go holy moly it's still <laughs> yeah. you know it's still it's still wet but uh yeah that this is not like that at all um okay nicotine content what do you guys think it's moderate maybe at the highest, at, at the very highest, yeah. yeah. I mean, at, this is this is the second pipe. I mean, back to back, I've had it, and I don't really feel anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Granted, it's a smaller bowl, but mm-hmm. I don't, I don't yeah, feel anything. There's not much there at all. Yeah. Well, when you get these uh, lighter tobaccos in there, like mostly black Cavendish, mm-hmm. you know, um, they're not known for their for their nicotine content. Right, and I think that Burley's kind of giving giving it what it has, probably. Mm-hmm. Probably that's where, yeah, if yeah. there's any in there, it's coming from the burley, and who knows how much burley's in this, you know, so. Right. Yeah. It does It does hit a little harder than uh, that McClellan aromatic that we tried. Yeah. I think, I think this has a little bit more nicotine to it. But. Yeah, it does. I can I can tell the difference between that one, because I smoked that one last night, mm-hmm. and it was, it, it, it doesn't really hit hard at all. It's mainly the flavor. I like your pipe, man. Yeah, it's a nice one, right? The Trey Rice pipe. Yeah, that's from the Four Piece Commission. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's nice. Nice volcano. Smokes what do you got real over good. There? You've got a uh, just Missouri, a Missouri Mission. Missouri Mission, probably yeah. the best thing to, to in the car or yep. you know on the road or whatever. Yeah. Yep, that or my little RNA Treasures pipe. Mm-hmm. I'm just Something smoking I can beat a them up. simple simple Savinelli Series Three, Canadian. Is that a Canadian? I, I don't. I think that is a Canadian. It's not a Lavat. No, and I don't know if it's a Canadian just because the little dip. I don't know if Canadians have that. Can, a, kind of a print style Canadian, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, this is the only pipe I use to smoke aromatics. So yeah. this is what I do. I've had this for a couple of years now. It came to me with no finish. And then now, you know, of course it takes on a color of its own. Mm-hmm. It's a good little pipe. I got it for like 40 bucks. So it's good. Yeah. All right, a couple of things about this one. Uh, it is it is pretty well balanced. Mm-hmm. Um, burns cool, burns clean. It has kind of a creamy creaminess to it. Don't you guys agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's consistent. It's pretty consistent flavor throughout the smoke. Uh, no bite. Uh, burns slow because of moisture, and there are relights involved. Um, it does leave some moisture in the bowl, uh, it's, but it's not goopy. It's, it's really not a goopy smoke. Yeah. Um, I think this is an excellent fall blend. I really do. I mean, I know that a lot of people smoke autumn evening in the fall, and there's some other popular ones. You know, CND also puts out a Christmas blend every year, you know. Um, this one is, is just as good, in my opinion, yeah. uh, if you're looking for a thematic smoke yeah you know for the season yeah and just an aromatic in general this is it's good yeah it's it's good for an aromatic yeah it's well done yeah, yeah i thought so too never had anything from strauss me either huh. i've heard a lot about this and i just never pulled the trigger because while i like aromatics it's i like good aromatics yeah. ones that are like this where you get some of that tobacco flavor you get at least a little bit of nicotine it's not just kind of hot air if you will Mm -hmm. so i never pulled the trigger because of it i was i was worried i wonder how someone would go about finding out what what their blends are i mean you if you don't live near cincinnati you can't go into their brick and mortar Mm -hmm. you know so how do you find out what i guess call them and sit there and ask them you know call them or tobacco reviews maybe or yeah or maybe they could uh send a list or something like that or Mm -hmm. you know so 
something because I'd like to try some others. You know, if this is a, a sampling of what their aromatics are like, I might like to try some of their Englishes or something like that, you know, and see, right. see how they go. Um, okay, so like I said, this was gifted to me by Warren Bile. Warren, thank you very much. Uh, you, sir. If you have not visited TurboTin.com, you need to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. a great search engine. If you're looking for a particular tobacco, uh, you just type in the name, and it'll uh, it'll tell you where it's available and how much it is, and you can just click on on one of the tabs, the links that they've got there, and it'll send you straight to the website that it's, that it's available on. Mm -hmm. Also, you can leave your um, email address in there, and if it's not available, it'll send you an email when it is available. So I think that's a great tool. Uh, this is sold in uh, five ounce bags, so it comes to about $5.75 an ounce okay. is what it, what it is. Again, no website, you're gonna have to give them a call. I'll put that number in the description. Uh, it is still available. I called them about a half an hour ago, so it is still available if you're interested in trying this. Okay, now comes the time of what we think we want to give this. What do you guys think? I'm going last. I'm still analyzing. <laughs> I need to get a good idea. Hmm. How often do they have this one This available? is seasonal. They seasonal? It only okay. comes out in Thanksgiving time. Okay. You know what? Okay. Um, I'm going four. Four? Yeah. Because I know since it's probably since it's brick and mortar and it's probably going to have like all the shipping and everything involved, it's probably going to be expensive. But for seasonal, this is amazing. If I wasn't analyzing it as far as what each flavor or topping was in there, if I wasn't looking for the pumpkin, if I wasn't looking for this, this is an everyday smoke. This is great. Yeah, I yeah, like that's, this. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. If if I wasn't searching for flavors I, and I was just strictly smoking it, this is outstanding. Right. Not not doesn't have bite that some of the spices do. It's it's nice. I like this. So a four. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ryan? I'm gonna say a three and a half. Honestly, um, I like that it's it's a good aromatic. Um, it's not, while it, it may be a little too moist for my liking, that's easily um, dealt with. You just leave it out for a while, and from experience, I know it actually will dry out. Um, and I think those flavors come out a lot more. Um, but I also agree with Ian. I think that if you're not just searching for these flavors and actively trying to pick out, hey, can I find this pumpkin? Can I find this nutmeg? What tobacco am I tasting right now? I think it's pleasant. It really is. And if I was going to go search out and, and try to buy an aromatic or like reach for one, I would say this is probably one of the ones I would reach for. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I don't like that it's that I have to wait for it to dry out. Yeah. Um, getting it might be difficult, especially if you want it all year long you know for seasonal pretty good i wish i wish that some of the pumpkin would come out a little bit more uh, mm -hmm. in this blend I, like i said i'm sensitive to spice and i get mostly cinnamon and i just i just don't necessarily want all cinnamon i wish some of those other flavors would come out saying that it is it is a pleasant aromatic i'm going to give it middle of the road three so, Fair four, enough. three and a half, three, that averages to a three, three and, and a half. half. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for uh, Strauss Tobacconus Sleepy Hollow, we give it a three and a half, which is really, you know, a pretty solid solid rating for, for uh, especially for a brick and mortar, you know, that um, obviously they're sourcing their the tobaccos from another company. They're either getting it from... from uh, Probably Sutliff, but you know, there's yeah. other places that you can also get it to, and you know, making some really, really quality uh, blends with it. So, yeah, all right. Well, you guys, got anything else you want to share? <coughs> Thank, you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> there we go. Okay, uh, I'd say if even if you're hesitant about aromatics, I'd say this is worth a shot. I mean, it kind of it, it kind of sucks only in the sense that you have to buy it in five ounce portions. Um, so 
if you don't like it, you're stuck with four and three quarters of an ounce. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but I don't think that I, I there may be some people that re, that would not like this, but I think the majority of people are going to be pleased with the uh, with the pleasantness of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I think that the, the you're going to smoke it all, probably. Yeah. yeah, as long as you don't go in with the mindset of, oh, I hate aromatics, I'm never going to like an aromatic, and I'm just not going to like this one, I'm going to, going to try it anyways. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, well, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your comments and your, your uh, uh, suggestions that you sent to us. We really do appreciate it. Don't forget. Make all your piping moments count. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching again, and have a great week. So long.